What's good, y'all? Uh, I apologize for the uh, long absence, but there's a couple of things that I want to get into today. So recently, former National Security Advisor under Trump, a disgraced former National Security Advisor, I might add, Michael Flynn, made some heinous comments that were supposed to be in the context of a joke while he was at a church in California, some random ass city, and they gifted him an AR-15 gun because he's a patriot. And the guy basically, I'll have you guys look at the clip. That's awesome. And tell us about your gift. Yeah. So we were trying to come up with a rifle that we thought was appropriate for a general. So we went with the old school woodland camouflage. So anyhow, this is a... Uh, <clears throat> One of our top quality guns. And, Maybe uh, I'll find somebody in Washington, D.C. <laughs> <laughs> this one's Florida compliant. Thank you, sir. Boy, oh boy. This is such a disgusting thing for a former uh, four-star general to be saying. For a former national security advisor to say. Regardless of whether or not you like Democrats or you like Republicans or not, it is a federal crime to be inciting violence against politicians. This guy needs to be court-martialed and brought before a military court because this dude is a treasonous piece of shit. And he's one of those dudes that loves to cloak themselves in a star-spangled underwear and all this stuff, and they're the most vile pieces of shit that America has to offer. Like, America already has enough problems with mass shootings happening like every other day and to have these former uh members of the military fetishizing guns first and foremost and making threats about killing politicians in dc how do you sleep at night and mind you guys michael flynn was pardoned by trump at the end of his term Remember when Trump went on his whole spree and he was just pardoning the worst human beings that you could ever think of? Well, Michael Flynn is included on that list of people he pardoned. And he was uh, actually a few years back, he resigned from his national security advisor role under Trump because uh, he lied to the, uh, he lied to the, I believe the CIA about his conversations with Russia he withheld some stuff so they thought the government thought that you know this guy's probably someone that's potentially could be involved in a blackmailing situation with Russia in the future so he stepped down and also he didn't disclose his business dealings with Turkey so the guy is clearly a corrupt piece of shit back in June of last June of this year he was literally saying that there's no reason why we can't have a, a Myanmar-style coup in, in America. So this guy is just a treasonous piece of shit. And then you'll have voting rights activists getting arrested. All because they believe that the Republican Party shouldn't be trying to limit who can vote and who can uh, not vote. Which happens to disproportionately affect black and brown voters. So people who protest that type of stuff, they're arrested. But people like this guy can just go about willy-nilly in society and nothing happens to them. He needs to be court-martialed and brought before a military court. There's even some former uh, four-star generals that are even talking about it on Twitter too. See, look, Rachel Vindman, wife of whistleblower, Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman was among those who denounced Flynn on Twitter. She said Flynn, a retired army general, should be recalled to active duty and court-martialed. And another time as well, too, when he made those very dangerous uh, comments about basically, you know, the QAnon folks and all the Trump, Trumpian folks to implement a Myanmar style coup in America. A retired four star general, Barry McCaffrey, last month blasted Finn for calling for a, a, a Myanmar like coup in America at a QAnon conference in May. By the way, he's one of QAnon's most beloved uh, leaders as well, too. So that just tells you the type of person that Michael Flynn is. So McCaffrey said, quote, this is putting the country at risk. I have never heard anything like this in the last hundred years. This is completely irresponsible, provocative language. And you just go on Twitter and like you just see like the guy's just getting absolutely destroyed and rightfully so. 
He's such a danger, putting people's lives at risk needlessly. Also promoting uh, anti-vaxxer BS as well too. He was actually going after some Fox News hosts recently, or rather he was going after like DeSantis, for example, for like telling people to go and get the vaccine and stuff like that. So the guy is just a whole barrage of bullshit. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about Michael Flynn. Court martial his ass and bring him to court and charge him for inciting violence against politicians. This guy is a treasonous piece of shit. I never want to hear anything about patriotism coming from that guy's mouth or any of his supporters because they wouldn't know what patriotism was if it hit them on their freaking stupid ass head. It's absolutely freaking disgusting. And it shows you that there's, well, yet again, it's more proof of the fact that there are two Americas. If you're a black activist or an indigenous activist or whatever it is and you are protesting voter rights or anything like that, that's related to social issues and stuff like that, Oh, yeah, you'll get arrested for protesting. But this guy can run his mouth under the name of God and patriotism and nothing happens to him. But that's all I have to say about this for now. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Peace.